Hello and welcome. Today we're going to walk through Video Expert Professional creating a database backup and then restoring it. Let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is on the desktop, go into the VX Portal icon. Clicking on this will bring us to the VX Portal web page. So that way we can log in and access the VXS storage portal. Once logged in, in the upper right hand corner, we want to click on admin and then configure server. At the VXS storage portal, we want to once again type in our credentials and click log in. Once logged in, we want to click on the database tab. Then we want to click create database backup. Once we do that, the system will begin processing the database backup request. Once done, we can see that it adds our database backup on our list on the left hand side. The list here, we are able to restore any of our previously saved database backups. As you can see, the system automatically creates one every day. Using the database backup list, we can restore to any previous database backup. This is helpful because if we make a change or adjustment that causes the system to be unstable and we do know the day that occurred, we can restore to a previous backup and bring the system back to good health. With the database now created, we can go into the status tab and click generate log archive. This contains both the system logs and the most recent database backup. Once the log has been generated, we can then click on download archive and this will download both the log files and the most recent database backup. With our database now downloaded, let's take a look at restoring our database backup. So there are several different types of situations that will cause us to need to restore a database backup. One of those we've briefly talked about when we were creating the database. That is, there has been a change, modification, or edit that has caused the system to be unstable. In such a case, we can log back into the VX portal, go into the VXS storage portal, come under databases, and then restore the database before the change. This will bring the system back up to good health. In the second scenario, which would require a database restore, is the system had to be re-imaged. In this case, the database restore folder is removed due to the re-imaging, and we must manually copy over the saved database backup. Now to get the process started in this second scenario, the first thing we need to do is extract the database file from our archive zip. The file that we want is located in the DB subfolder in our archive zip file. We want to extract that and then we're going to copy it into a specific location on the server. We can open up the archive by double clicking on it and then right click on the file and select copy. This will allow us to paste it into the following location. The file will need to be copied into the program data selection. If you'll notice here, you'll see that the icon is slightly faded out. This is because normally program data is a hidden folder. If you do not see it when going to the C drive, at the top of the toolbar, click on view and then check mark show hidden. Once we can see the program data folder, we want to go to Pelco 
from Pelco Pro Server, from Pro Server Database Backup. It is here we want to paste our backup database file. Once we've copied that file to the correct folder, we can now go back into VX Portal. From VX Portal, you want to go in the upper right hand corner and click on Admin and then Configure Server. From there, we want to once again log in to the VXS Storage Portal, go to Databases, and now as we can see, the database file has been restored and we can now restore the system from our saved database. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.